and welcome to How to Market Your Business with Krista and Amanda. We are so glad to be here with all of you today and we hope that we can be there for you all and hopefully we can teach you something that you didn't know before this webinar. So remember, if we don't answer some of your questions during the live, just save the question for the um, for the end, for the Q&A portion. Um, so just wanted to go over what we did last week. We talked about the social media platform, LinkedIn. We showed you all how to sign up with LinkedIn and some fun informational facts about the platform. And just remember, if you haven't seen last week's webinar, you can find it on the Evolution Travel Cafe Facebook page, on the Travel Cafe website under Webinars and Trainings tab, and the Evolution Travel Archer Media Center YouTube page. And today we just decided that we wanted to go a little bit more in depth with LinkedIn and how you can use this platform to market your travel business. Amanda? Awesome. Thanks, Krista. So before I get started, I just want to do a quick shout out to everyone who's here. So I see Pam and Kathy and For Your Health CBD by Cheryl and Kim Ward on YouTube. Let's see who we got on Facebook. We have Karen, Lavette, Jamie, Jerry, Latasha, uh, Gary, Audrey, Shara. Shara, is that how you say it? I hope I said it correctly. Um, <laughs> and Willia. So welcome, everyone, if I missed you. Um, hello, hello, hello. I hope you're having a great day. So just a refresher on LinkedIn. Um, LinkedIn's been around longer than Facebook or Twitter, but it seems to be eclipsed by other social networking websites. And despite their recent changes to make features more like these social media giants, LinkedIn is really its own different kind of animal that requires different techniques for using it effectively. Most know LinkedIn is a business-focused social networking site that essentially allows users to create a roadmap about their careers, outline, uh, not outline, <laughs> outline where they were or have been educated, uh, positions they've held, and people they've worked with. And many of these features on the site allow interaction and networking on an individual level, which is really nice. Um, some might not know that LinkedIn can also be an effective um, uh, social media platform for promoting your business. And we want to start off by going through LinkedIn and show everything that LinkedIn has to offer. So now let's go to the LinkedIn profile that we made last week. Uh, Krista, can you start us, start us off on this? Yeah, perfect. Let me know when you're there. Perfect, we're here. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to start off on the home page. So this is the home page right here. Um, and as you can see in the middle of the screen, this is where you can share a post. Um, so you can share a post. Um, you can do a status updates. You can add pictures. You can add videos, documents if you'd like. Um, but today we're going to click on the video uh, tab there and we're going to show you guys how to post a video. Um, so now you're just going to go look for the video that you want to add. Um, so we're going to use one of our marketing videos to upload. So let's just click there. And then now it's going to ask us, um, what do you want to talk about? So Amanda, let's just say, uh, can you believe that Las Vegas, Las Vegas opens on June 4th? And then let's just say, who's ready to start planning a vacay? Question mark. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. So now let's click on add a hashtag at the bottom. Okay. Perfect. And then uh, let's add hashtag Las Vegas and the hashtag travel now. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. So uh, now let's talk about who can share it um, at the top. So if you click on the drop down that says anyone, it'll let you choose. Um, who you want to share it with. So uh, let's click on um, let's click on anyone plus Twitter so we can market it to multiple platforms. Um, it'll now let you connect your Twitter account as well once you do choose this. Um, if you don't have a Twitter, if you don't want to post it here, um, you can just click on anyone and click on submit. 
for not letting you. <laughs> yeah, I think it's because I messed with it. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so um, now you just have to click submit th down there at the bottom. And you can see there it's loading. It's a large video. Oh, and Krista, um, this is actually our customized marketing video, Las Vegas, that they can get in the Travel Cafe shop. Um, and it just, it's marketing for them. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I don't think I've seen this video, but uh, I'm definitely down to watch it after. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Um, but once it's done loading, it will show up there down at the feed, um, down at the bottom. So once it is posted, then there it is there the post is there and it's on your feed it's on your profile um and so now that like you kind of understand how to post something uh let's move on i don't know oh there it goes it loaded yay perfect okay cool um yay now it's on there so that, that's how you post a video onto your onto your uh, linkedin profile um, okay, so let's go to, um, okay, we're on, this, we're on the main page still. So if you can see up at the top in the middle again where you can share a post, there's a option right down there at the bottom where it says uh, write an article. And so you can also write an article and you can post it on LinkedIn. So you can add your headline, so that would be the title of the article, and then you can also um, add whatever you wanna write about the article, you can add pictures, you can add videos, um, you can do a bunch of stuff. You can also add, um, like you can change the font up at the top, you can bold it, italicize, you can change the, the font type and everything like that. So if you really are into writing articles, this is a good way to get your articles out there. Um, all right, Amanda, let's go back to the home page. Perfect, okay. Uh, now that we're back at the home page, um, since this page is incomplete, let's go from here. So at the top, it says, Krista, complete these steps to get the most out of your LinkedIn. So first it says here, uh, when did you start working at Krista's travel company? So let's just say you're a new agent. Let's pick April and for a year, let's pick 2020. And then I'm going to save it. And guess what? That's completed. Um, and since this is a new profile, um, we haven't connected with anyone yet, so we wanna build our network. So let's go ahead and find some connections. Okay, so now that we're here, you can see you can connect with people, you can view training and courses, um, you can do a lot of things on here. And I suggest that you connect with people because the more people that you connect with, the more people you're going to reach with your business and your post. Okay. Um, so now let's click on my network. And we're going to talk about groups. So we're going to come down here and click on groups. And right here you can sh see that it shows you um, what groups you're a part of and then what groups you've requested. And it also has room for here for you to create a group as well. Um, and I also just want to say it is important to join groups that relate to you like travel groups and participating with groups is important as well. Um, you already may be a member of several groups or maybe you're just joining some, um, but you need to leverage your membership in these groups by participating in the discussions because every time you participate, your photo, your name is included and you can always drop a short signature at the end with your company info um, on the post you add for added promotion. So you can even promote in the groups and connect with people and learn what's going on. Um, but let's show you how to find a group. So if you want to find a group, you can just go to the top and we can type travel group and enter. Perfect. So now that we're here, you can see right here it says group and it says how many members there are. Um, group, so you can see that all of these are groups. So let's just click on the first one and then we're just going to request to join. Uh, it says it's been successfully sent. 
So now we're just going to wait and hope that we get accepted into the group. Um, so now that we've talked about doing a group, Krista, what's next? Yeah, and um, if you go back to the homepage, Amanda, I do want to show you where there's um, another way to access your groups. Um, it is right there. So um, this is more for easy access to your groups. And so I just wanted to show you guys where else you could find um, that group page. But uh, right below groups, you can see that you can create an event. Um, so let's click on create an event, Amanda, if you don't mind. Perfect. Alrighty, um, and so we're going to create an event. And so I wanted to create an event that you guys could do right now. And so since we're all at home, we're all quarantined, um, I would just suggest going live. I mean, it's the best way to connect with people when you can't really be there face to face. So let's just say, yeah, let's just make the title going, oh, travel check-in. Oh, right? I like that name. <laughs> travel check-in. Okay, um, and then it'll ask you, oh, is this an online event or is this an in-person event? And that at this point, we're just going to put that it's an online event. Um, so next, it's going to ask you to put your broadcast link. So if you're going live via Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, you just need to copy the link and then just paste it on there. Um, and then you can also add a description of what you're going to be talking about or um, what will happen, um, what the event will cover. Uh, for this example, we're just going to say uh, checking in with everyone to see how they're doing. And talk about travel. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Um, so if you see it below that, it does give you an option to add a ticketing link. And so this is if you're selling tickets to the event. Um, and in this case, we're not selling any tickets to the event. So we're just going to skip this part. Um, but then at the bottom, you can make your event public or you can make it private. And so with a private event, you can use um, a private link and you can send it to a selection of people that you want to, to be engaged with your live. And so we're going to just click on a private event. And um, once you do click on that, I want you guys to notice that you can see that it asks you if you, uh, if you want your connections to allow their connections to join. And so this is totally up to you if you want um, your connections to allow their connections to join. Um, but uh, we're just going to leave that be. We're not going to we're not going to select it. Um, but then you would just need to cl um, click on create at the bottom. Oh, Krista, really fast. I just want to say this is so important. Time zone. We're all in different places in the USA, right? So don't oh, forget yeah. to put your time zone. Perfect. Thank you for thank you for that addition. I totally forgot that one. Yep, and then you would just post, and I I believe this just goes straight to your your LinkedIn profile as well. And then it also gives suggestions of hashtags, which is really nice. Oh yeah, let's add a couple of those. Perfect. Awesome. Cool. So oh, there it is. There's there's my event, and hopefully people come to it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Your fake event. <laughs> my fake event. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, but I do want to say, if we go to the homepage, Amanda, one more time. Mm -hmm. um, I did want to mention that um, you guys should scroll through your feed so that is like all of the, um, your followers post your connections they're posting stuff on here so just make sure you go through it and just stay updated with whatever they're saying um, because these are this is what you want to know about these are the companies you follow these are the people that you want to know about so just make sure you keep yourselves updated and go through your feed and 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 check everything out um, but yeah so Amanda do you mind giving us a little summary of what we went over today and why we should use LinkedIn? Yeah, definitely. Um, and just before I do that, I just want to mention while we're here, um, like Krista said, there's a lot of tabs and a lot of things we haven't gone over. We just wanted to give you the basic steps to get started. Um, so creating a post, creating events, joining groups, like we don't want to overwhelm you. We just want to start with some basics. So if you want to go through these other tabs at the top, there's a few other tabs and things you can do. 
Um, so I'm just going to leave that out there. But let's talk about um, why we should use LinkedIn and, and sum up what we talked about today. Okay, so why we should use LinkedIn. Number one. Oh, there we go. Um, creating shareable content that benefits your audience. So um, by producing content that your viewers want to see and share with others, your viewers will become engaged advocates of your company and expand your global reach and influence. Um, according to LinkedIn, your company should post as many status updates as your content supports. Um, you will reach more of your audience and extend your reach as you post more often. Uh, companies that post about 20 times a month on average reach 60% of their followers with one or more updates and 20% of their followers are typically reached with at least one status update. Um, and as with any quality content marketing effort, you want to strive to publish authentic, relevant posts that encourage people to like, share, and comment on your post. Um, posts that feel like spam will definitely not get shared and could actually reflect in you losing followers. So make sure your post don't look like spam. Um, here's some examples at the bottom. You could do an article on LinkedIn. You could do a video. You could do questions to engage your viewers. You can also join groups to, and have questions and discussions. And you could also talk about a travel destination and go in depth on that. Next, introducing new products or services. So the top five reasons why people follow brands on social media are promotions, discounts, latest product info, customer service, the entertainment of the content, and the ability to offer feedback. People want to they want to be heard. They want people to know what they have to say. So these are five reasons, the top five reasons why people will follow you. Um, and more than half of companies say that they have generated sales through LinkedIn. Um, with LinkedIn company pages, which we haven't talked about yet, you can introduce new products or services your company developed and explain how they will help customers to achieve their professional goals and meet their business needs. Um, also, you can provide links to your website to enable readers to easily find more info and convert your website visitor traffic into warm business leads that become longtime clients. Next, differentiating yourself from your competitors. You don't want to be the same travel person or travel agent or company that everyone's seeing on their feed. You want to stand out. So on LinkedIn, you can use your company description to emphasize how you stand out from other competitors. Um, you can include company news and share info about your company culture. And then you could reach new people to recruit. And you can also convey what your company values, missions, and vision is. So consider how you can use stories, um, maybe some infographics, text, and photos to give users an authentic, transparent, and positive impression of your company. So visual storytelling is always the best, right, Krista? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so photos or artwork, um, memes, um, just anything like that is going to leave more of an impression on your audience. Next, finding job candidates who can make a significant contribution to your business success. Um, LinkedIn profiles reveal valuable info about people seeking jobs at your company, um, like including their stability, their, rec uh, their record of successful accomplishments, and the passion for what they do. So you sort of know a little about, the, about them before you recruit them for your business. Um, and your company will definitely benefit from their expertise and energy if you pick the right people to join your company. Um, so yeah, so you definitely can use social media and LinkedIn to find people to join uh, your business and you can recruit people there as well. Next, checking on what your competition is doing. You always wanna see what they're doing because you do not wanna be left in the dust. If 
I don't want to give any examples because my examples will probably be crazy, but if uh, <laughs> I will anyways, <laughs> if Apple was creating a spaceship, uh, like a spaceship or a crazy phone and Google wasn't, then they would just be left in the dust. So you're always checking what the other competitors are doing. So I just want to say that 94% of business to business marketers use LinkedIn to distribute content, making it the social media platform used most often. So by visiting the company pages of businesses serving your target um, market audience, it's easier for you to monitor changes in your industry and also track what your competition has accomplished. Uh, just noting the transitions and monitoring the social media content strategies of other companies on a regular basis will help you identify trends and opportunities for talent acquisition and growth areas of your business. And then last one, improving your ranking in search engines, how people can find you on LinkedIn. Um, this one's important. Google and other search engines rank LinkedIn company pages and post highly in the search engine result pages. So you wanna make sure adding updates to your company page and profile helps you improve your performance in the search results page. And a high quality LinkedIn company page helps you network and prospect for quality clients coming and sales, um, but it also establishes your public image um, on a global scale because literally LinkedIn is everywhere in the world and it, it shows if you are reputable and a trustworthy organization. So by understanding the benefits of LinkedIn for your business, knowing how to use LinkedIn for your business, and tailoring your LinkedIn content to suit your intended audience and managing LinkedIn wisely, you'll enhance your company's opportunities to build referral relationships. You'll also generate sales leads and attract talented members to join your team. So these are five ways, oh no, six ways that that's you should use LinkedIn. Oh my gosh, my brain just went everywhere. I wanted to say like, <laughs> use LinkedIn, market your business on LinkedIn, like all these thoughts came up and I couldn't speak. But yeah, so these are six reasons why. Perfect. Thank you so much, Amanda. Um, if you don't mind, let's go to the Q&A portion. So uh, do we have any questions on Facebook, YouTube, anything? Okay. Perfect. Um, I don't see any questions right now, but we'll give you a second to answer questions. So we'll give you a minute um, and see if anyone has any questions in the chat. Um, while we're waiting, um, we just want to say everything always starts from the ground up. So like I said earlier, don't become overwhelmed. I know there's so many features on these social media platforms. Just focus on one thing at a time. Pick one thing to do, make sure that becomes completed, and then you can move on to the next step. So that's why today we just went over a few steps you could do and then the reasons why. Um, Cresto. Do you have anything you want to say about LinkedIn? Yeah, um, I do want to say, like, I mean, LinkedIn and all social media websites, like, there's always more you can add. And so if you feel like you or you haven't really finished it up, but you're, you're getting there, that's okay, too. Um, like, I know LinkedIn, it, um, it'll almost, like, talk down on you it'll be like you need more connections and so if it's telling you need more connections I mean go get more connections but don't be don't let yourself down and say oh I oh I don't have that many connections and it's saying I need more just you can do it at your own pace you don't have to mass send out a bunch of to a bunch of random people you want to be selective but uh, you just want to make sure that you're doing it uh, within your industry and people that you know and uh, you don't want to go to too off the off the grid with random people just I would just stick with people that you know and and stick to your to the travel industry and stuff like that and and hopefully just make connections with everyone like that definitely Krista no I totally agree and one thing um, as well with connections is local connect with local businesses uh, restaurants in your area mom-and-pop shops um, local insurance companies banks 
connect with them because guess what? Those people want to go on a vacation. Those people want to travel too. Uh, Mm -hmm. They don't want to be at their business year round. So who are they going to go to? Someone local, someone trustworthy, someone they can talk to. So connect with people in your local area. Okay. Awesome. So now we have one question. Uh, So if we already have a LinkedIn, we can just update your profile page. Definitely. Yep. Audrey, you can just update and um, just keep content going. Yeah. And um, if you do want to have a separate, um, a separate business page for your LinkedIn, you're more than welcome to. But Mm -hmm. if you have like a personal page and you just kind of want to add that you're, um, you're now a travel consultant with evolution and Archer travel, um, then you can totally update your personal page while also creating a business page just strictly for business. Definitely. Definitely. And we didn't go over how to create a company, um, business page yet, but we can show you that another time for sure. Perfect. Okay, that seems like the last question. Oh, uh, should I do a mock booking on LinkedIn? Or should I just share a post about travel? You should not do a mock booking on LinkedIn if it's showing the travel agent commission or things the client should not be seeing. Um, If you're talking about a picture image that you're sharing a sale, then yes. Um... If you're sharing something such as, uh, this is such a great rate, you should come and visit here, sandals, or something like that, definitely. But if you're doing like a live video and you're showing them the website or screenshotting it with the travel agent info or the IATA number, then no. Because that is a public page and um, we don't want clients to see that. But yeah, you can definitely post, um, yeah, like a sailor or something like that. And you can post about travel, yes. I see that's another question. Uh, Should I just post about travel? Yeah, you should uh, post about travel, but you should also post about you personally so they can connect with you as well um, in a professional sense. Um, We went about that a while ago, right, Krista? We talked about um, posting things, um, like creating a content calendar, right? We said Uh you should post, like, Q&A to engage your audience, and that was another video we did about, um, when did we do that? Like, two weeks, two, three weeks ago? Yeah, we did that, and we showed them, like, how to run a contest and all all that, so um, I would definitely go back and look at all of our, how to market our business, um, because we we do talk about how to engage uh, on your LinkedIn profile and what you can post and everything like that, so I would definitely recommend going and looking back at that video. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Well, uh, I hope everyone's safe and doing good and everyone's healthy and having a good day. I just want to say thanks for joining us again for this live. We're going to have a great live next week um, at 4 p.m. How to market your business. And we're really excited. So thank you, Krista, again, for this amazing idea about LinkedIn. This is just a great way for them to network. Um, And thank you for letting me be a part of this. This is just so awesome. So Thanks, everyone, for joining, and Krista. Yeah, thank you, everyone, for joining. I hope this was very informative, and I hope it, um, if you haven't signed up for LinkedIn, do it, because it's it's a great tool for you guys to have, and, and just take it slow. If you do need any help on it, or if you need any advice, you can um, definitely email Amanda or myself, Krista at archertravel.com. It's K-R-Y-S-T-A at Archer Travel, and then Amanda's is Amanda Rose at archertravel.com. So you can email us if you need any advice on your LinkedIn or on any of your social medias. We'll be here for you. Awesome. Okay, thanks. Well, everyone have a great day, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.